Friday, April 7th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So another video here this morning, it's around 9.30. I'm gonna cover the markets, uh, the technical outlook for gold and silver. I've made uh, a few videos in the last week saying that uh, it looks like you know the precious metals are ready to break out. And uh, we're starting to see that today. We traded to a high of 1270 earlier this morning here, uh, you know, earlier today. Silver is still capped. It didn't make a, a new high this uh, for the year yet. We traded up to 1849, which is a tech key level or key resistance level. Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything else. Uh, the previous video I did, I spoke about uh, what's happening in the world and uh, YouTube automatically demonetized uh, my video. I never really get videos demonetized. So it looks like uh, talking about those subjects is a no-no for uh, YouTube. So I would appreciate as well if uh, you could you know, if you enjoy my videos, to maybe make a small donation. Any donation is, you know, welcome. Um, uh, I'm not saying uh, my channel is being demonetized because it's not. I'm doing quite well in terms of adverts, but there are subjects out there that uh, are being uh, not uh, monetized. So I want to start out. Uh, first, I'll tell you where we are right now. It's 9.30 a.m. London, so 4.30 a.m. New York. Uh, gold is uh, really stuck here around 1264, mainly because uh, you know it was a key uh, level uh, at the end of uh, February, beginning of March. That was the high for the year, 1264. So we're gonna find that's a way gold trades. We see a lot of resistance here right now. We're 1264.25. Um, silver is at 1840. So yeah, gold up 1%, silver up 3 quarters of a percent. Um, and uh, I want to look at the technicals in the precious metals because that's the, you know, uh, the main focus, you know, <laughs> my channel. I look at gold and silver. That's, you know, one of the main subjects I look at. I still believe gold and silver are, you know, sound money. Uh, people like to trade it as well, uh, but in the end of the day, it's uh, the only way to store wealth, if you can, if you can accumulate and save some wealth, in my opinion. Uh, it's, uh, it's good money. It's, there's no counterparty risk. You know, you don't have to leave it with a, a bank uh, and, uh, or a broker and be dependent on that uh, you know, uh, entity. Uh, you see, this can it, it can be taken away uh, from me, of course, by force. But uh, it will be, you know, the same thing. You know, in fifty years, uh, you don't need to like polish it. Uh, it doesn't break. It doesn't, uh, you know, melt. Well, it does melt if you, but it doesn't dissolve or corrode. Uh, it's always shiny. It doesn't disappoint you. It's always there. It's nice and heavy. Um, so yeah, that's the, you know, my belief. But I like to look at the markets. That's my background, and uh, it's interesting to look at the gold price. So I'm going to bring up a chart here. It's a weekly chart of gold, spot gold, not futures gold. You know, I see like uh, some of the web some websites like Silver Doctors they they put like uh, the futures price, which a lot of times has a premium because it's in, in you know uh, going forward, and they say spot price. So you know, right like right now, gold is at uh, twelve sixty four, but I bet you at uh, Silver Doctors it's going to be like uh, higher. But that's only be it's at let's say here. It's only because they don't use the spot price. They use the futures price, which has, uh, you know, the premium. So, um, yeah, 
they're saying it's 1266 and we're not and they're saying silver's at 1850 you know when silver's at 1840 <laughs> you know that's not the spot price uh, if you want the spot price go on bloomberg actually and uh, do xau usd that's the uh, spot price or xag usd uh, so let's look at the chart here in gold this is a weekly chart uh, that trend line coming through there that's from the high in 2011 and the high in 2012. It's a line we try to break out of uh, last year. We did break out uh, a few times, but never didn't really successfully stay up there. The last time it went up above that line was on election night um, <laughs> uh, in November, um, where there's a huge range in the gold range in the gold price. We traded up to 13 almost 1340 and then you know traded back down uh later that week uh below 1300 to you know 1220 so that's uh that that line right now uh as i speak is probably around uh, 1275 so we're getting really close um we got up to 1270 overnight uh so i guess 1280 would uh you know be uh constitute a breakout of that line we of course we'd have to stay above that for uh, a week or two or three you know because you as you saw last year uh, we weren't really uh, capable of staying above that line for a considerable amount of uh, time and uh, as you can see there the high early this year is 1264 uh, it looks like we're making a new leg higher here I'm sure the um, bullion banks and the powers that be uh, when the U.S. comes in later today are going to do all they can to keep gold from breaking out through 1264. We'll have to see, you know, if the market wins <laughs> on that. So gold looking very good here as I speak. Uh, silver, uh, I spoke earlier. Uh, in the last week or so of how silver has been outperforming gold and how caught, that could be a signal of uh, a breakout in precious metals. And uh, ironically, you know, silver hasn't, uh, you know, br made a, a new leg higher this morning. Uh, it's been capped there right around that 1849 level, which was uh, the high at the end of uh, February there this year. So... Uh, I think at the moment now, uh, with what's happening in the world, gold's leading uh, the way. So if we do break uh, out higher in gold this afternoon, uh, and don't forget we got non-farm payroll uh, U.S. job data, we could see silver catch up and break through that 18, 1850 level. Um, as for the stock market, well, you know... Um, in my previous video today, someone said, um, you know, the PPT, you know, Plunge Protection Team, Treasury and the Fed, they'll come in and make sure the stock market doesn't drop. Well, overnight, uh, we wore down um, oh, about 150 points. Uh, now we're only down 29, which is nothing really. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. So I, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and uh, I would really appreciate any donation people could make I accept uh, Bitcoin uh, PayPal uh, Bitgold uh, Ethereum uh, and I'm on Patreon as well so that's it for now uh, and I'll talk to you later bye